Marriage is a joyous occasion and one of the most important events in our lives. Its sacredness and unity are the most significant and binding covenants known in human relations. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love, holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. The hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. The hands that will help hold your family as one. These are also the hands that will give you strength when needed. And lastly, the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I think that I always wanted to get married. Um, you know, I think just seeing seeing that going to weddings when I was a young kid, um, you know, growing up like that, I, I always wanted to. I, you know, I never until you meet somebody, you never think you, you'll find that person. And that was the first person I said I love. I love you too. Um, so yeah, it was it was easy once I met her. I think as a kid, I always wanted to get married, but I don't know that I necessarily wanted to have a big wedding. One day, I, I decided, you know, I'm, I'm, this isn't me. I'm going to download <laughs> Tinder, <laughs> um, and I, I did that, and we we connected, we matched. Um, you know, I think I said a really funny joke, and she really liked that, and said, "Hey, you want to meet up after the holidays?" and and we met. It was actually kind of a blizzard in Pittsburgh that night, but we had a plan to meet at this brewery, which fortunately for me was very close to my apartment, so he had a bit of a drive. Um, but yeah, we met, we had a beer, we had a very long talk, um, as we really didn't talk too much on the app. It was mostly just, hey, let's meet up, um, which I think is good to really get to know someone. We had one beer over three hours, um, so a little bit like our um, second date where we didn't eat, eat too much and kind of just talked. Um, our, our first date was having one beer and, and really you know, initially getting to know each other. And our second date was similar. Um, we met, Kyle suggested we get this queso, he said it was amazing, and then neither of us ate it. <laughs> um, and then by our third date, I think we finally got comfortable. We went to a place dancing and I think that's where we really kind of showed our true selves. We went to, or it wasn't the third date, but it was right after that, we went to a pirate game. Um, and I think at that point I, I was ready to tell Val I loved her, but I was so nervous because I've never done that before. And we're just sitting there watching watching the baseball game and <laughs> she looked over and, and said it to me. And then I, was, I, I really appreciate that. And I, I said that. And, um, and then I officially asked her to become a thing a couple, you know, right after that, I would say. and. 
were things, though. I think I knew I wanted to marry Kyle after the third or fourth date. Um, shortly after that, I met some of his friends, and just seeing him in his element and the, you know, the person that he always is really um, cemented it for me. With this ring. With this ring. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. To, to always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Comfort you. And comfort you. I promise that I will. I promise that I will love you. To keep my heart open to you. To keep my heart open to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Kyle Michael, Valerie Ann. Today, you have started your journey to become one. One soul, one mind, one heart. By the power of your love, and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me, it is my joy to officially acknowledge you as husband and wife. You may share your first kiss and marry them. Being the quiet kid, you know, I think everyone is, you know, it can be a little bit different when you're, you know, with your friends or maybe out in public. And I think, you know, everyone has their quirks, and I think he really, he really gets that. Well, he's very selfless um, and caring, and he always wants everyone to be um, happy and feel supported. You know, she's, she's always been supportive of me you know, in a very calm way, too. <laughs> he's really, um, you know, just intellectual, but also emotionally intelligent. Which I think really helps in our relationship.
this has all been worth it. Um, I think we realized maybe today how much we really love each other and um, I hope we're still continuing that.